It's long time no see. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to do this video. I was working on another video that you guys will see very soon, hopefully this week, because I'm almost done. Well, actually, I still need two more looks for that one, but this one, I'm also doing a three look, one palette review video, because that's like my comfort level of reviewing a palette, doing three eye looks. I love doing multiple eye looks whenever I can, and I'm so grateful this was sent to me early on. So I did receive this in PR, so I'm so grateful for all my cosmetics and this is the new Ireland Wild Atlantic Way palette. I really love the outer packaging. It looks like a photograph basically. It's almost like a painterly design in a way. I don't know, something I noticed but I really love the theme already. Ireland, I think we've all been waiting for this kind of palette. Like if we think of greens, we think of Ireland because all my cosmetics they like to travel places and they give back and this one is in um the actual packaging is actually like a soft velvety um, finish and there is like a slight little pattern like a clover pattern you guys could see my palette I already got it dirty because I didn't put it away in the box I should have but I spilled something on it I think it was just water <laughs> so you have to be careful make sure to put it away so that was my bad but yeah i think we all been waiting for like a full green palette and when you, you think of st patrick's you think of ireland right and this is a um, screen for green theme lovers green lovers you guys will love this palette i want to do a three look one palette review video i'm so excited to share let me give you guys some facts about this one this is a 18 pan palette it has lavin verdant and velvety mattes and seven grand glistening shimmers it is cruelty free and vegan the destination is emerald isle and its inspiration is the savage beauty and the cause is the irish wildlife trust so no my cause if you guys don't know they are any brand they love to travel to places around the world take inspiration wherever they travel and they always give back so that's something i really love about the brand and not just that i really appreciate the brand so much because they truly there's they're very nice. They are so, so nice. So if you always have feedback to give, they don't get upset or anything. They just appreciate the feedback from good to bad. They are such a great brand. So I really admire them as a brand. And yeah, I'm so excited to share my three eye looks. And I'm going to show you guys my first eye look. I did quick little tutorials for them. I didn't want to do a little talking theme because I usually tend to take too long on my eye looks. And sometimes I talk too much. I'm not really great at multitasking. So I'm just going to show you guys quick tutorials. The first look, I went very light for this look because it was very late at night. It was, the sun was going down. So thank goodness for daylight savings. This was before daylight savings. And I went for the yellows. I wanted to do like a yellowish look. And I went for that shimmer slant. It's like a green yellow gold. It's so beautiful. These shimmers, they are, they call them glistening shimmers. And I guess that's the best way to describe them. They are so sparkly. The texture to them, they are more on the dry side, I would say. And they're not completely like smooth, like buttery smooth. So you will get some fallout with this. So I think the best way to apply it, of course, use as some kind of glitter primer and the best way is to firmly press the shimmers with the brush i prefer using my brushes for these shimmers i feel like with the finger it might get a little too messy and also another thing too i've been preferring to use my brushes more lately with the shimmers i'm not sure why but that's what i've been getting into lately and that look was very light and pretty and very simple i really loved it and for the second eye look i went for the greens and a little bit of the blues i wanted to do a deep look and I used some of my favorite shimmers. Savage Beauty took me by surprise because I thought it was going to be more on the champagne side. So I think probably because I paired it with these green mattes, it looked more on the olive type of beigey grayish shimmer. It's very beautiful. It's very sparkly. It's a nice almost toned down neutral shade. And I had to like add that shade slant. Hey, oh, that's one of my favorite shimmer shades because the tone to it, it has a it's like blue greenish i love greens that lean a little bit blue or blue that leans a little bit green like those are my favorite type of colors like the teals i might be pronouncing these words wrong but the yeah, dude is such a blinding shimmer so i use it on my inner corner i'm tempted to use this on my inner lid but i don't think for this video because i i'm trying to go with different shades for every look um yeah so far the mattes, I think the mattes are very soft, pigmented. They're not as super soft and lightweight as compared to your last palette. I think that 
the last palette of theirs the stargazing new zealand one that one i feel like it's beginner friendly because the mask they look intimidating like the bold sh looking shade but they are so like buildable like buildable type of mask and these are a little bit more pigmented so far i haven't had any trouble the only thing when i did my green bluish look i went from dark to light and usually i'm not used to doing that so i mean i think that was the best way to go away about it for that look but yeah just i don't tend to do like super dark looks like that i tend to use lighter shades in the outer my outer transition and i do use darker shades right here but i went really really deep with that look and yeah i am so ready to do my third and final look with you guys and kind of wrap this review up i'm ready to do a different look i really 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 want to use the shade cliff of mother right here so i'm thinking Hmm, I'm thinking, I kind of still want to do yellow, but maybe I could do yellow in this grayish shade right here, or maybe a little bit olive. Hmm, I gotta do something different, but let's try this combo. I know I've used this on my first look, but I'm just so tempted by that shade. So I'm gonna use a Malin Head shade. It is pigmented, but it's powdery, so I do make sure that I I tap out. It's really dusty-ish, but I think on medium skin tones, I'm not sure if this will show up. Let's see how it's kind of dusty-ish, but on um, medium skin tones, I'm not sure if it'll show up on your skin tone well. Me, it's like a little hint. That's why I build it up on my first eye look, because I just really felt like doing like a super like soft yellowy look. Yeah, it's like adding like a hint of color, but we're just adding like a soft transition real quick. And I'm hoping that shade Danny Boy, it looks almost like grayish. I'm just hoping it looks well. I might mix it in with a few different shades. Just want to see how it looks. Uh, we're going to just put it right here. It leans a little green. A little olivey, very cool tone. Oh, you can see it better on the camera. But yeah, it definitely needs a little olive -y. So I think I'll try, yeah, I think I want to add another green in. But let me just basically put it all around my lid, having some hint of color, because why not? But I think so far, the lighter mattes here are so easy and pigmented to play with. The darker mattes, I haven't used them all, but they are pigmented. And yeah, I love the pigmentation with these. Look at that. So I think with lighter skin tones, you'll definitely see it better with these lighter shades. But you could see it like a little hint of color. Now I'm going to build it up with some something else. So I think blue and orangey, bronzy shades. Oh, like these shimmers. I was mentioning how they are more on the dry side, but they are so sparkly. That's, so that's the thing about them. It's like a different, another different formula from Lil Mad. They're continuing surprising me with their formulas. Their multi crown formula from their Star Keezing New Zealand, like, they're such a great improvement comparing to their first multi crumbs. And I do have a few critiques, like, just two things to mention. I'll mention them when I do a pile of ranking. I'm supposed to record one, but I just haven't had a chance to just sit down. I actually want to record a bunch of videos. Just, uh, been wanting to do the if I could only keep one palette from each brand I wanted to do that one or the declutter one if I could declutter one palette from each brand too that that would be really fun but I think the one that keeping the one from each brand like whichever palette I think that one sounds super fun and I think it would be really interesting to see what kind of palettes I would keep and like I was already daydreaming about it I went a little too high so I'm just gonna use my sponge just to kind of fix that Oh my gosh, my heart is literally beating because I'm so excited. But look at the mixture of that olive shade at Animo and that blue shade. It kind of neutralizes it a little bit. Like it looks bluish and greenish at the same time. Like it's not cool. But yeah, I'll probably build it up a little bit more once I add the shimmers. I'm going to use my Bella Beauty Bar. I used my Bella Beauty Bar Shimmer Stay for the previous two looks. And oh, I haven't mentioned it. I mean, I'll probably mention it again. 
when I do my review, but I wore the look about, I think around six to seven hours for both. Because I, I put it on in the late afternoon, like almost evening, especially the first one. And they wore out pretty well. Like I had minimal creasing. So it's like a really good formula. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm only using the shimmer stay, nothing like tacky, but it just adds, it's just hydrate size basically, but I think it pairs well with these shimmers. When we're ready for the shimmers, I we're gonna go that Cliffs of Mother shade. And I always get my honest opinions. And these shimmers, they're pretty. They're different. They're not too boring like at all because they are very sparkly. Oh, the bronzy, ooh, that's gorgeous. Look at how well it applies on top of that primer. Maybe with the next glitter glue, it will pair well too. But just I just haven't been so into like tacky glitter primers lately. Because sometimes I just want to add my mattes back in. And then adding my mattes back in with that kind of primer, it just it messes it up sometimes. And this one, I could kind of go over it with mattes sometimes. Like you see the background with this, like the ocean, and I think of the beach. Like with these type of shimmer, they look like sandy. They how sparkly they are. They just remind me of the sand, the beach, and then the this bronzy shade with the blue. I'm happy. I'm happy about this palette so far. So let me get that Keem Strand shade again, that bluish shade, and kind of go over. Oh yeah, I got some fallout. <laughs> I didn't tap on enough. I got too much, but look at how much pigmentation I got just by adding a lot more. Oh, look at that combo. I love blues and browns. I'm gonna tap this because it looks like it's getting um, like almost patchy because of the softness of the mattes. So I think I have to add in back the Danny Boy shade and I'm just gonna kind of use that and hopefully that will fix it. I think I need to get a denser brush, but yeah, I'm just fixing it a little bit. Go back to the Malin Hitch shade and just kind of add that back in right here. Hmm, I have to fix that shade somehow. All right, so I'm just gonna add that blue back in. I pulled out a different brush. Hopefully it goes well better. Yeah, I think I prefer using the darker mattes first and then probably light. That's probably the best way to go about it. So I think I will grab another shade, the taint shade, just a little bit. I'm just gonna grab this just to kind of help it. This one leans a little bit green, so I don't want it to be too, turn too green, but it's just a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna use that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that definitely helped keep it there. I like this combo, really pretty. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. This time I'm gonna use this brush still. This is a different brush I used when I first started on the other side, but I'm just gonna press it down and see how it goes. If it goes better than it was just my application or the brush too. But yeah, sometimes if you can't blend the shade, you have to tap it in. I got a little bit of that taint shade just to kind of keep it the same. And I want to lightly clean my brush a little and just soften the edge right here. And I think I'm going to have to get the Danny Boy shade. So it could be the mixture of this too. It's kind of messing it up. But I'm just going to still use it. Hope for the best. Kind of blend it. It's like an olive shade. Grayish olive shade. There you go. Yeah, that definitely went way better. Do you know what you guys, ooh, it looks a little bit more green over here now. <laughs> and now for the bottom, we're gonna use the browns just to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna get this shade and I think we're deepening it up with that shade. Blue and browns. Oh, another thing, blue and browns. I mean, the browns is close in the orange family. Like this needs a little orange, so I think that might be another reason, but Ooh, it's a nice brown shade. So 
so I can't recall if I've already used all the shades. I feel like, hmm, what shades have I not used? Oh, well, I mean, I, I think I want to be nearly done. Like, I think I want to be very close to using all of these shades, but I just can't remember which ones I have not used. And yeah, I'm just adding this brown right here. I think this might be my favorite look. So I love it when I do my most favorite look with you guys. So you guys could see it be done in action. Keem Strand Shade. Hopefully it's dark enough for it to be on the bottom. There you go. Yeah. And guess what I'm going to use on my inner corner? Guess what I'm going to use on my inner corner. Hope Harbor shade. So out of the, all the shimmers, this one's more on the sheer side. And I think the other ones, they're they're all soft. But this one's more more thinner in formula compared to the other ones. The other ones, they feel thicker. Like you get more pigmentation with them. <laughs> oh my gosh, this shade's pretty. Uh, yeah, we'll just not waste that pigment. Oh, see how sheer it is? really really pretty i think it'll be perfect for the inner corner or even the inner lid if you just want like a little dimension so i'm going to get that shade it's actually a little dark but there is some bright sparkles in there that will that can make this look work so i think this oh i really like this look <laughs> it's really different yeah, I like the mixture of colors. Really pretty. So I think I'm just going to blend, do a little bit of blending, add some more pigment. And for sure, I'm going to add some lashes and probably change my lip. Maybe I'll go more for a brown lip. Then I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts. So right here is the finished look. Very beachy vibes. Bronzy vibes. Oh, you! I'm so happy with this look. I love this look. I love them. I love blues and browns together. Uh, just the combos, and then just a little hint of like that cow looking green. Looks so so, oh, like good for summer too. All right. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some low lights, of course, just like what my other two looks. I don't do this all the time, but it was inspired by my friend Brittany Ray, which she also has a YouTube channel here, and she reviewed this palette already. So that's my friend Alicia. She done a lot of multiple looks with that one, and I'll leave their links to their videos. I'll try to put it in in this corner right here. And this palette, this is definitely for green lovers, but if you love blues and greens, then I think you'll enjoy this one. I don't really have... I, I do have some palettes that have some greens, and I do... I can't really think of any besides like Fantasy Cosmetic Drood or even the Nomad Cosmetics, the El Covango one. I think the shimmers in that one, those are more hard pressed. I mean, I sometimes prefer that kind of formula, but I also prefer soft pigmented formula. So it just really depends on the formulation. But I did the matte so far. They were pretty easy to use the darker mattes. If you want to add in the depth, then definitely start with the darker shades first and then just add in the soft shades i think that's the best way to go with this kind of formula it's soft blendable you're able to fix it and if you add in too many shades like if you go from light to dark you might have some trouble so i think the from dark to light will go best with these type of mattes and i know there's a lot of greens in this one i did notice that and maybe they could have gone maybe two, without two greens Maybe they could have added more browns, but then it, it would just look too neutral. This palette, it just screams green. And when you think of Ireland, you think of green, you think of St. Patrick, then you think of green. So I don't mind having the additional greens. Um, I think the closest two greens I would say is between these two. This one is a little brighter, like these three. Like this one's more darker, more close to pine, and this one... It's like a grass green and this was a brighter green so there are some differences in the green and then you get these cooler colors right here that leaned a little bit like a hint of blue which i love and then also you get this blue mat this blue mat you have to build it up too i think um from what i've tested so far definitely pat in the blue shade i gotta test this palette out some more but so far I do like the matte formula, formula in this. Also the shimmers too. I think the shimmers are pretty. They're not too boring. They're not basic. This one, the shimmer in the Clubs of Mother, it's sparkly, but I think it's probably one of the, one of the less toned down shimmers, but I still enjoy it. It looks really good. 
against these blues and Mm, the blinding shimmer. There's some blinding shimmers in this one. Actually, three blinding glowy shimmers, which I didn't really uh, spotlight them as much. I mostly use them. Besides this one, the first look, did I use a little bit of that? Um, yeah, I used this shade in my first look, and it was beautiful. Like this one, this shade right here, Slan, Diadute, and ring of carry they just have some glow to them so they're not lackluster i think they'll look good has a bold shimmer on the lid or even the inner corner i think they'll all work out as an inner corner they are beautiful i still have some leftover from that blue one but look at that and they are pigmented but since they're a little bit more loose they are soft pigmented but they're on the loose side so you have to like really pat these shimmers in with the brush i think that's the best way to go about them with this type of formula you guys can see how it looks right this type of formula i really enjoy this formula and they're not like shifty or anything but they have sparkles in them so as long as shimmers have sparkles i'm happy with it and would i pick this palette up I mean, if it wasn't sent to me, then I wouldn't know about how the formula is going to be like unless we we're able to like rent palettes. If only if you could rent a palette and just figure out if you want to keep a palette or not. But if if there's a way to sanitize every palette, just make a new again, rent a palette and see, <laughs> then I probably fall in love with this one. I have fallen in love with this one. But if it wasn't me like trying out and just looking from afar from looks, well, I haven't seen that many looks. I haven't been online that much, but I think just from looking at the palette, at the palette review, I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. That's a pretty green palette. But just trying it out, it made me like fall in love with it more, you know? So I don't think I would have personally picked it up um, because I haven't tried it, but since I tried it, then I, I'm actually pretty surprised with the formulation. The shimmers are different. They always, no matter cosmetics, they always take me by surprise and I am so excited to see what other locations they're going to travel to for the future. What are you guys hoping? Which locations are they going to travel to? I'm hoping they visit Japan again because I really love the Japan culture. I think so far I prefer this one over the last palette even though the last palette has multicrons. I love the multicrons in that one but I just love the variety of this one even though there's, it seems like there's a lot of greens. I feel like I could just pair them with the, the blues or the browns or just even mix some shades. Just make them... Um, in a different tone and yeah i'm gonna play around with this a few more times of course i always do try to cast them out and i know i've been meaning to update you guys with the other palettes that i've been testing but eh, hopefully hopefully i can very soon but anyways guys that's gonna be it so thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys